Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content for groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here. Today we have J-Hope's Jack in a in the box, not in a box, Jack in the box. Um, we have intro, Pandora's box, stop, equal sign, music box, reflect, music box, reflection, what if, safety zone, and future. So, um, the reflection one reminds me of, uh, Namjoon solo, so I wonder if there's any connection, probably not, but well, let's hop into the video. I am using lyric videos, please don't hate me. Oh no. I'm so dumb, I'm not gonna get all this. Pandora's a person? Oh. She lifted the lid once more and out fluttered a small, bright, most beautiful butterfly she had ever seen. It flapped its feathers yes, okay. as it danced around Pandora, lightly brushing okay. against her shoulder. Pandora immediately felt her angst melt away, and her heart glow with warmth. Aren't you not supposed to open it? It was hope that was kept in the innermost nook of the box. It trailed behind the miasma of darkness, assuaging their ill effects on humankind. Hope gave people the will to carry on living amidst the pain and strife. Mm -hmm. Aren't you not supposed to open Pandora's box? I'm not too familiar, but I guess we'll see. I know these lyrics probably won't be that accurate, though. Okay, so whenever I look at BTS lyrics and stuff, I usually don't understand them. I have to usually go on Twitter and like forums and stuff and have people like with their explanations and everything so I won't probably get everything but I will try um but okay so the I guess the theme is of the Pandora's box is that the world was of grievance but then Pandora opened this box that's not supposed to be opened and you're not supposed to open it because it has the glimmer of hope in there that's what I'm assuming because that's, I think he's, is he referring to himself as the butterfly of hope in the dark box? Let's see. Put the boy in the box, so. He said it's his history, and I know they said um, Hobie wasn't as hopeful until he, like he got that name and it kind of made him become it. It's almost like fake it till you make it a little bit, like he with the name felt responsibility which then made him hopeful himself which i think is beautiful though of course you know it comes with the pressures he said which makes sense and i always like wondered that when i got into the group and when he said i was like oh so that makes sense oh it's nice there's hand oh my Dang, don't put me out with that. <laughs> Is that referencing their song Path? I don't, I know who Zeus is, but I don't know what Zeus is. Like, I don't know his backstory, so that's one thing I'm gonna have to probably look up later. Dang, I should have studied and paid attention in school because I could probably get these references. Not for my own happiness, but to understand. The songs i should have studied in advance for bts <laughs> i know who benjamin button is like i know the name but i do not know what he is he said uh backwards like benjamin button i i, I guess that's the thing Each one in the box. hey that's referencing i know that i know what that means because of bts the um 
frog in the well, I think. Was it in, uh, which song was it? It was in one of the rap songs. Was it, was it Dang? I think it might be Dang. Yeah. Yes. He, that's what I was talking about. This would be, I feel like, I like this song more for the lyrics. I probably wouldn't like listen to it much, but I do think this is a song that would be better live. I can just imagine, like, the fan chanting it, the fans chanting, like, Army's like, J to the whole joint. Like, I think I can imagine it. I can imagine and Hobie doing this, like, hyping the crowd up as he does. So, that, I feel like this is a song that's better live. Like, I liked Tear, but when I saw Tear Alive, I liked it ten times more, and it became one of my favorite songs. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't get that. These are such short songs, but then I think his first mixtape was short, too. Wait, 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 wait! Is the don't referencing arson? What movie is this? It's in English. Dang. This might be the deepest song. <laughs> this might be the- Oh, that's hard to- Like, I, the other ones are more personal, I think, to him. But this one is more worldly. Like, you can re- So, I feel like the other songs are more his story written out. We can relate to them. So, you know, like, it's his story, but it's written in almost like a relatable way for us to connect to it personally. This one is a worldly, like- thing everyone can relate to no matter what like no matter where you live i feel like anyone can relate to this it's a very universal thing he's talking on the like world rather than on himself i think Whoa, 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 I don't, let me look at the comments before I say anything. That felt like a... Wow, that one, I, I don't know... Okay, so he's like almost sarcastic at the end. I think he's like, there are no bad people in the world. That's right. Like, like I think he's saying there are. Like, it's almost like a. This is not hopeful, Hobie. <laughs> this is realistic, Hobie. <laughs> I think. I think that's what he's saying. Oh my god. I'm not sure if I, like, I don't want to say something and it's not true, but, um, ugh, okay, I don't, like, it's not a bad thing, but I'm wondering, okay, I'll say it, was that clip, the guy, the off, it sounds like a police officer, and he says, get down on the ground, put your hands up, or something like that, and I'm like, and then he's talking about hate, and like, I, I think that was a reference to 
the BLM movement, like the black BLM movement, that's literally in the title, the, the Black Lives Matter. Oh, no, no, it would be like BL, BLM movement. Um, right? Was it not? I'm, no one's saying it though. It has to be, right? Because it's, I, I pointed out that they are speaking in English in the clips. Oh, okay. This is definitely one that I wouldn't listen to because of how, like, you have to be, like, in a good headspace to listen to this one. This one's a thoughtful one. Um, much like, um, Yoongi's albums, I only listen to a few of the songs, like, frequently. Because a lot of his are very sad or very deep or very lyrical, like, lyrically centered. So I kind of, like, same with Namjoon. I think Namjoon's have more of a chill vibe, though, so I can kind of just you know let it play but like um there's like uh the last and stuff and i can't listen to that i have to be in the mood it's one of my favorite songs but it's one i definitely have to like be in my head for no one's gonna talk about how deep this song is god that, that song's okay i need okay let's go <laughs> this might be the gay song the queer song we'll say because it can mean a lot of things I think. I haven't seen all the lyrics though, but I've seen some of them. Dang, I wish he said sexuality. But it's, it can be included, technically, because he said prejudice and stuff. Ooh, vocals. Oh, I love how he's singing this. Oh! I almost sounded like Taeyong there. Is that Taeyong? Or is it. I hope he's singing in a low voice. Oh, this is not just because of the equality of the song and the beauty of it. This one sounds the most like Hope World, and I really love that album, so I think I, that has a lot to do with it. Also, everything's sad, so this one's the most like, uh, it, it's comforting. <laughs> but it's also his vocals on this. I love the way he sounds on this song. Is Tim not in the song or am I imagining this? <laughs> Is he just like morphing his voice and it sounds like Tim? I think it's like the effects. I'm like, is that Jimin in there? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the boys did some backing tracks on the song, but I, I, I would think it would be in the, like featured maybe, but I don't know. I think he's just editing and like fluctuating his voice and it sounds like Taeyong like maybe they're together so much that their voices start sounding the same I really really okay I'm allowed to ask for this I wish he added sexuality in there people really want to kind of just be like oh it's included technically I don't know people hype this up to be the gay track but if it's just like if it's just like uh insinuated i don't think it counts this isn't a gay track to me you can have it as like so there's songs that people include in like a gay tra like um in like a gay playlist like sweater sweater weather is technically like a bi anthem as people would say but it has no referencing to being a bisexual song it's just we add it to like we all like agree that it's like a bisexual anthem um, and then, like, a lot of Lady Gaga songs, not Born This Way, but, like, her other songs, people will consider, like, you know, it's a gay song. Like, we we play her at the, like, um, Pride Parades and stuff. But, um, you know, not all of them reference 
queer things. So I would add that in that type of playlist. It doesn't reference it, but it can, it somewhat insinuates it. I really wish Hobie added it because I feel like Hobie is an ally, but and I'm sure they all are. But like I, they only Namjoon and like Yoongi have really ever said anything. I mean, Tay shows his support through the music he listens to and the shows he watches and stuff so we know he like is um a supportive ally of course and i think all of the members have at least referenced or said something about like watching uh, a gay movie or listening to queer artists like trace vaughn and stuff they worked with him but i kind of just that also makes me go why doesn't he just add sexuality in it why are we oh it's beautiful though and i love it. it's my favorite song but dang that would have just made me really happy like i would have cried if i saw my idol add sexuality into that like it <sighs> he says gender but that just probably means male and female it's not like i we can just hope it means transgender and stuff but i it can very much just be like beyond gender because of you know sexism and stuff so i don't know fine um it very much gives me um kong daniel's song where i forgot the name of the song but on his recent the story album he had a beautiful song about loving each other despite differences and i you know i i also include that into being like a, a queer song um Um, but I know all the queer armies are probably vibing to this, and I think we all love it. See? Now, I'm only picky about it because I listen to so many queer artists, but I would say this is, like, I don't know. No, he doesn't say it, so, like, it would have been, like, a bigger leap if he really said it, but it's a start, it's a start. So I think this is a transition to maybe a darker, even darker side of the album because the other songs sound like they might be dark. This picture creeps me out and this make, reminds me of Michael Myers at the end of Halloween, 2018. This creeps me out. <laughs> oh, I want a song on this beat though. This has been hard. I want to know what filming this was like. Or recording this, I mean. Are you just breathing into the mic? No, that breath doesn't sound right. Let me add a different breath. <laughs> Beautiful. I want to beat on that. Oh. Oh, hey, hey. Mm, this is the one song that's when talk about that, I guess, more specifically. Yeah, this is like his, the darker part of the album, I guess, which just says a lot because the other songs are pretty dark too. I can't let myself broke though. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. I get it. I get what he means. <laughs> it's always easy to say that though once you got money. But you know, they've been through the trials and tribulations, so. I like that this album seems to have different parts of his like, um, his conundrum kind of like his different thoughts during different points of his life. Like he is questioning deeply right now. 
And I feel like this was actually before some of the others. But the other songs were more universal. I feel like we're more personal here. Hey! Big cars, big cars. Wait, big house, big cars, big rings. Say rings. Say rings. It wouldn't make sense lyrically though. Baby, oh my goodness. These are such short songs. Oh, this is giving 2008 vibes. <laughs> when they have that little thing in the beginning of songs. I don't hear that much anymore. Ooh, I love this beat. Oh my god, chill. <laughs> Look, I'm responding, but as it... If to look back at me and my growing tinnitus? Titties? What? Tinnitus? <laughs> he must wrote this during the pandemic. Oh, safety zone. I don't, I don't know if this is translated right, I don't click that line. He's like searching for a place where he can feel comfortable and happy. It seems. But I think he means more mentally, like not like his legit like walking to like like not like a room or a house or anything or his studio. I think it means more mentally. I think I love his tone here the most. Oh, Arson was good though. Yeah, it's like a mental place for his, like his happy place. Where he feels comfortable. I like the hoo hoo! Is that not Jimin? <laughs> I don't think it is, but geez, this sounds so much like Jimin. No, who is that? Because that's this not like any of them. Who is this person? Maybe it's um. Why sound like Chris Brown or something? Ugh, but who is that? Is it um one of the producers? Cause um that girl, her name her, her, her name starts with an A. She would do backing vocal Adora, something like that. But like it's a guy, so I'm confused. Oh oh, here we go. Um, when I heard the hoo -hoo, I thought maybe it could be Jimin, but then it, it lingered out more. I was like, oh, that's not Jimin. G Soul. Wow. I've heard of him. Oh. So it's not G Soul. Who is this person? Who are you? Your voice is gorgeous. Man out here thinking you're Jimin for a second. And then I was like, that's not my boy Jimin. This is a beautiful song. That's one I would listen to a lot. This person just keeps writing the same comment every time. Um, what do I hear? Uh, so are th is that both him? Because jeez. Yeah. He's using so many different voices in this, it's throwing me off. Ooh! I love his voice like this. 
He's grown so much. I feel like Hobie in the beginning of BTS was the least polished. Him and probably like Jin and Jimin. Tay was also probably not as polished either, but like I think they utilized his voice decently well in the first couple albums because of the concept they had. But Jimin, of course, Tay said himself like Jimin didn't really get to shine or use his color until about like HYYH era. So I think um, he just didn't get to show it, and also he just wasn't as like trained vocally. Tay just I think was a little more blessed with having a bit just a little bit of like a better natural tone just because he could utilize his voice in the first few albums um but hobie i think his voice just happened to work decently with the first two albums like dark and wild and stuff and like the the school love era and then like dark and wild era um but uh i think hobie like he I, he sang a couple times in the first few albums, but like he never really got to showcase his vocals. I think even until now, like I'm thinking of all the times he sang, and he's obviously gotten better, and he would sing occasionally, but this is the best I've heard him. And I don't know if maybe he's just been working on this album for a while, and so he worked on how he wanted it to sound and would practice more but he has like been using a lot of different tones i haven't heard from him that's like my favorite voice i've ever heard from him the i'm here to part i want more of that singing voice please This is more hopeful ending. Then we get to Arsenal because I know Arsenal's last, but still. Oh my gosh, my favorite part of the song. I love his voice like this. I'm so mad we didn't get more of this. I think Arson's the last one, which is interesting, but I think because it's like supposed to be, I think, a Phoenix reference. Oh, I hate how short these songs are. I feel like I'm being teased. Wow. That's my favorite. No, is it? I don't know. Okay. My favorites are Arson, More, Future, uh, was it Safety Zone? I like? Safety Zone and Equal Sign. I love all the other songs. It just kind of depends. I'm thinking more on like the replay value. But lyrically, I really like um, Stop and Pandora's Box. And then um, What If. What If was great too. Uh, honestly, this is the most, like, because, like, it's hard to write deep songs for a group, um, and they, they've definitely done it, you know, we've gotten them, but, like, they were always about the struggles of the group, and I think, you know, besides a few, we have the occasional few, but, like, they, they were all about mainly the group struggles and their rise to fame and everything, and like the struggles of adolescence so more like relatable for everyone type things but hobie this is the most i think we've got from him personally besides what he's like literally spoken about so i just think it helped me kind of understand him more as a person and i think it's a beautiful album i think 
hope world just has okay so i'm not like into 80s hip-hop um so personally i prefer hope world sonically but lyrically i prefer this album and i think if i just listen to it more i can adjust to liking this style of music more um it's just i've never liked rapping or anything until i got into k-pop so i haven't like you know i i guess you could say i like the more i don't like the new new like the new new rapping more so like the 2017 era of rapping if that makes sense like i don't like the new like <sighs> i like the third gen rap basically i don't like too much of fourth gen um and bts are third gen so you know i only like specific styles of rapping i'm very picky with solo rappers in america or, and or korea and i really only listen to rapping from korea mainly there's like the occasional others i like in america but it's more so just random songs not a whole artist i don't really stand a whole rap artist um and hobie always kind of liked 80s hip-hop and 90s 80s 90s hip-hop and rapping so i'm not surprised he went down this route and i think it suits him but i like a lot of his singing uh, i feel like his uh i feel like this is more 90s hip-hop and i think hope world is more 80s but like 80s modernized very dynamite <laughs> so that's probably why i like it a little more because he modernized that a little more there's a few more modern styles on this album as well of course but yeah i i think sonically i like the other one more but i think he can he can persuade me to like this style um because of his voice i think helps a lot but let me know your favorite songs and yeah i'm looking forward to more solo stuff from the boys i don't do a lot of their their solo things because i just listen to it on my own um but i wanted to react to this project and like i was very happy and excited for him so i can't wait for more I, i've heard maybe jimin's next or something i don't know i don't know where people get this information from <laughs> so yeah um whoever's next i'm looking forward to it i kind of want it to be jin or tay because tay has been teasing a lot and he is my bias so obviously i'm looking forward to his the most i feel like he better add scenery and like winter bear and stuff to his album i would love that but i really doubt he's going to he's gonna break my heart um but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye